हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल शिंदे इंग्लिश क्लास फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न नाइट ऑफ द स्कॉर्पियो व्हिच इज रिटन बाय निसिम एजिकिन हु बोर्न इन 1924 एंड डाइड अनफॉर्चूनेटली इन 2004 निसिम एजिकिन वाज एन इंडियन ज्यूइश पोएट एक्टर प्लेराइट एडिटर and art critic he was a foundational figure in post colonial india's literary history specifically for indian writings of a wider range a sahitya academy award he received in 1983 and padma shri in 1988 so in present poem central theme we can say that is the poem depicts the selfless love of a mother who is stung by a scorpion so that is the main character in the poem that is the scorpion so let's see first and last i remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion 10 hours of steady rain had driven him to crawl beneath a sack of rice See, this is the description in which what happened? Rain is coming continuously, and continuously it has been raining for ten hours. So, because of that situation, that scorpion has come out due to that continuous rain of ten hours. And what happened? It directly came to writer, sorry, poet's house, and where writer, sorry, poet said that my mother. was there and this scorpion stung her stung means bit bite means that second form of bit then parting with his poison flash flash means it's like electricity how as we start on button then immediately bulb on tube on pan on everything so in that speed speedily parting with his poison flash of diabolic tail in the dark room he risked the rain again means he came only to stun poet's mother and as he did his work that is biting to poet's mother then taking risk he again gone away in the rain the peasants came like swarms of flies peasants means all the neighbors that peasants came like swarms of flies as you have seen uh, maybe honey circle is there honey hive is there so see how many flies together flies there so that example poet is giving us after biting that particular scorpion mother started crying because of that poison so by hearing that neighbors came there so they like flies and buzzed the name of god a hundred times people directly started to take name of god because see danger poison scorpions have and once they stung to that person that pharaoh immediately started to cry with pain lot of pain so those neighbors who came there like a flies means together lot of people came there and they started to take name of god how this happened to paralyze the evil one see means they right now started the activity to search that scorpion and see they started to take name of god simultaneously searching with candles and with lantern so there is no electricity when that time of night and when poet is living in that particular time at that time they did not have electricity people use that time lanterns and candles so people do that throwing giant scorpion shadows see giant scorpion shadows means all these people okay they are now searching that scorpion who stung poet's mother 
on the mud baked walls mud baked walls means generally right now we have concrete buildings but in a rural area still we found that mud like material they use to build their house so like that house is there they search for him for him means scorpion he was not found they click their tongues click means they are making where is that means see they fail to search that particular scorpion whose tongue was its mother and after failure they just making that sound where is one with every moment that the scorpion made his poison more in mother's blood they said see as we know lot of people have superstitious blind faith and they believe that happen if something happen like that for example here is that after biting that scorpion if moves from one place to another place so people believe that that poison in our body moves again as scorpion moves that poison moves in the body and that person again feel that pain of poison so they think this is called superstition blind faith many people have may he sit still they said they said means all that people who gather after hearing the sound of mother may the sins of your previous birth see that people are saying that why scorpion came here and why that stung you because you did some sins okay in your previous birth better burn away tonight and right now you did that last last time is in your previous birth so because of that scorpion came today and stung you now your sins are over okay burn away tonight they say may your suffering decrease the misfortunes of your next birth some of the people have different thought some people saying that may your suffering decrease the misfortunes of your next birth means many people thought that we have another life also after this birth and death we can get again okay rebirth is there so if you get next birth maybe that time suffering you will get very less because right now you are suffering of a pain may the sum of all evil balance in he in this unreal world means see for example few people what will you maybe you have done something sin in this life present life some people said previous some people said next but some people said about this life maybe you have done something wrong since so you have to pay for that that's why it came and stung you so you have to suffer okay this is the faith of these people have and they are talking about that again the sum of good see balance in this unreal world again the sum of good means to make balance about our sin and good so these activities happen with us people are saying that become diminish by your pain may the poison purify your flesh another people what they have superstition like feelings sayings they believe that right now if scorpion has stung you it is now making your blood pure all the calamities or impurities if you have in your blood that reduces by that poison so see all these kinds of thinking just superstitions nothing more that may the poison purify your flesh of desire and your spirit of ambition they say and they sat around see different people have different thinkings and different reasons of saying so people believe and they now just sat around mother and see if anybody is suffering from any kind of pain so at that time we have to just console that person but these people are just talking about about your previous birth about your next birth about mother's present time whatever she did that same and now she is repaying that and that is why that 
Scorpion came here and stung her. So on the floor with my mother in the center, the piece of understanding on each face. See, right now they are there, they sat and just watching mother's face and they are making and passing comments about her scenes. Somebody saying about previous birth, somebody saying next birth, somebody saying about present birth and somebody is saying just purification of the blood, flesh, okay. Then more candles, more lanterns, more neighbors, more insects and the endless rain. Rain is continuous there and because of that heavy rain, Scorpius, whenever uh, he sat or slept there, his residence maybe you can say that where he stopped there. So continuous rain is there and that water may be gushed into his place and he came out. So right now again he disappeared after biting mother, he disappeared. So more candles means more people are there, more lanterns they have, more neighbors and more insects. One Scorpio only there, but people are talking many things. So we can understand these are like insects. If you have faith, you can say that. But these people are discussing blind faith. So that is called insects. And the endless rain. My mother twisted through and through. See, the person who got bitten by that Scorpio. Maybe you have experience in your life this kind of fightings. Even if somebody pick preach us, so at that time we feel that pain. So here Scorpio has a poison. It is a poisonous insect. So my mother twisted through and through, groaning on a mat. She is suffering a lot by pain of poison. My father, see right now about father, poet is saying, my father septic. Septic means the person who never believes in God, that called septic, who is a believer on himself only, not believing on godly things. Rationalist. Rationalist means a person who believes in reason and knowledge that opinion and belief. So these people who are talking about previous birth, who are talking about present scenes and about future. So these are, we can say, blind people who are following superstitions and opposite to these people, writer or poet's father is rationalist means who only believe on the basic things which are real on which he rely trying every see my father septic rationalist trying every curse and blessings when father is trying to take care of mother and he is just trying to reduce her pain of that poison he is trying powder mixture, herb and hybrid. He even poured a little paraffin upon the bitten toe and put a match to it. You see, maybe he had a knowledge about that. He put paraffin on the particular point where that biting point is there and he flamed that. He fired that. So poet was that thing. I was the flame feeding on my mother, okay. I was the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison with an incantation. See there is a holy man who believes in God and poet's father is a septic person who is a rational who never believes in worldly things but there is one of the person. See so that person is reciting name of gods and incantation means the chanting of words claim to have magical power. So all that is called we can say belief of everybody's feelings we have to respect. So there everybody tries to reduce her pain by their activity. People are saying about sins, father is trying, taking all kind of medicines, paraffin, then this 
man is reciting taking name of god to reduce poison's power i watch the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison with an incantation after 20 hours it lost its sting means power it takes 20 hours that is why the title is night of the scorpion means that scorpion came he stung once only but the effect remains for 20 hours whole night mother just groaning through that pain of poison then my mother only said thank you god the scorpion picked on me and spared my children mother why said thank because if instead mother if there if there were poet so what would be effect is there so maybe mother right now she is cured by that poison but if that scorpion bit to poet then there would be different scene mother would not take that or mother would not bear that particular situation so she said that okay my children are safe and that scorpion bit me it is for my good thing because of my fortune god saved me and my family so this is about night of the scorpion poet is talked about mother as well as father and about the all people how they behave so let's understand how mother so mother is very selfless last stanza is saying that after curing from that dangerous poison she just thank the god because god made safety to her children and then father is there father also trying to take care of poet's mother so here in this stanza father also good person who rational is who are not superstitious but he tried he is a rationalist person and few examples are nowadays also we can see lot of people follows blind faith so just aware about that blind faith we have to just be rationalist okay so let's understand the figures of speech in second line stung by a scorpion s sound is repeated that is alliteration then in second stanza parting and poison p sound is repeated again alliteration then in that second stanza risk rain again alliteration in third stanza the pigeons came like swarms of flies like word is repeated sorry like word is used there so that is simile figure of speech simile means comparison between two things so people and flies they are like means people compared to flies so poet has used here simile figure of speech and we can understand by as and like word so like word is there and even hyperbole is used in same line because all people came like flies so it just not happen poet has used that figure of speech here hyperbole in buzz the name of god 100 times see buzz the word b u double z e d buzz that word particularly shows the sound and meaning both are the same and when sound and meaning both are the same so at that time that figure of speech is onomatopoeia okay so note it down that again to paralyze the evil one so there is you can say metaphor metaphor means comparison between two things okay without using as and like word metaphor so in next stanza with candles and with lanterns w w is repeated so that is with word is there repetition in that fourth fourth stanza 
and fourth line they search for him he was not found him and he these both pronouns used for scorpion so if poet use one particular pronoun that is enough but he has used two pronoun so both pronouns used it indicates figure of speech tautology tautology means poet use same meanings word twice means two times then next line they clicked their tongues as we have seen as that scorpion disappeared so at that time people made sound where it is on where it is so this is sound click and already i told you if sound and meaning both are same so that is figure of speech onomatopoeia next with every movement that the scorpion made his poison moved in mother's blood they said so this figure of speech is a inversion because in inversion there is incorrect order of words how should be that line so they said we have to write in the first so remaining part we have to take after they said but poet has used inversion figure of speech that is why he used they said lastly that is why note down inversion figure of speech is here which means incorrect order of words in next stanza that is begin from may he sits till they said again may the seeds of your previous word be burned away tonight they said again here inversion in that stanza see the line may the sum of all evil point out evil word balance in this unreal world and again the sum of good so evil and good word are there so which are opposite when opposite words comes there okay two opposite words are there so that figure of speech is antithesis evil and good okay note down that and that line balance in this unreal world means that is a metaphor unreal world that is the comparison without using as and like metaphor then next line of that become diminished by your pain may the poison purify your flesh poison purify see again these words are opposite but see poison and purify poison and purify contradictory words placed in line so here is new figure of speech which is similar to antithesis but that's name is oxymoron because poison and purify used in same line so oxymoron is there in this stanza on next page fifth line of that stanza my father septic rationalist trying every curse and blessing again see curse and blessing these are opposite words so antithesis figure of speech is there then in line i watched the flame feeding on my mother we knew that who feed on whom okay but here flame i was the flame feeding on my mother okay so here is human quality gives to flame so when poet use this kind of technique in poem so that is called personification figure of speech because poet has given human quality to inanimate thing okay students and this poem is very beautiful poem in this way we have understood all the figure of speeches and we understood the poet depicts the selfless love of a mother who is stung by scorpion i hope you understood poem and its figure of speech read it once again okay 
uh, if you like this poem share with your friends subscribe the channel thank you